in order to install Recordbox, you need to download the software first. You can do that from Pioneer's website and I will put the link in the description. Go to recordbox.com with a K and com of course with a C. Now go on the top of the screen to the download section. So click on download and then you need to scroll down a little bit because here is a checkbox. Check that, check I agree and then click on download. And now Recordbox will download to your computer. You need to wait a couple of minutes for this to finish. When the download is finished, navigate to the download folder in Finder. There is probably a shortcut for that in your browser. Double click on the file that starts with the text Recordbox and ends with .pkg.zip to extract the file. By extracting we created the file that starts with the text Recordbox and ends with .pkg, so without the zip extension. Double click on that file and the installation process will start. We continue in a bit. If it does not start or the computer says something along the lines of program not allowed, go to system preferences. Click on security and privacy. Then click on the log on the bottom of the screen if it is logged. Type in the password of your computer and now you see that the log is unlocked. Under allow downloaded programs, choose Mac App Store and developers with known identity. Now try to start the Recordbox installer again by clicking the file that ended with .pkg. If it still displays an error, then choose every source and click allow every source. We continue our installation process of Recordbox. In the introduction screen of the Recordbox installer, choose next. In the license screen, click continue. Now click agree. Click on install for every user, then click proceed. Then click install. Type in the password of your computer. If you typed in your password earlier, you probably won't be prompted to enter your password. Now the installation starts. Now the installer says that the installation is finished. It's not quite yet. We have to take a couple of steps before we get there. Click on the button close. Click on the launch pad in the dock and search for the Recordbox icon. And click it to start Recordbox. Now the license dialog will appear. And even if you don't have a license, if you want to use the free version, you still need to have an account to be able to log in into Recordbox. When you don't have an account, click on create account because that takes you to Pioneer's website to create an account that you can use Recordbox with. This account, by the way, is completely free. Once you've entered your login credentials, click on login. And now it says activation completed. Click on OK. Now click on next. It says preparing. Now Recordbox asks which payment plan that you want to choose. We don't want to choose anything, so we click on click here to proceed. And now it says if you want to use Recordbox with a free plan, then click on next. Now it asks to select a cloud solution. I'm going to say cancel because you can synchronize with Dropbox or Google Drive if you want. But in this case, I don't want to set that up right now. So I click on cancel. And now I click on close. And now we are in Recordbox and you can import music and create playlists. I will show how to import music in the video here on the screen. And if you want to know how to create playlists, that's the other video here on the screen. Have a lot of fun with Recordbox and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.